I'm gonna leave that in the video. I'm sure you can see me. You look real cute, baby. I'm so happy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shit. Lord, I don't have too much cleavage. I love your damn too. Can we get started? <laughs> no, no, I'm taking that out. <laughs> I'm not leaving that in the video. You just picking and choosing, ain't you? Well, that's what happens when you edit the videos, pimping. Ooh, she knows how to control my tempo. It's so simple, but it's so easy. You can say hey to the people. Hey to the people. What's up? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, first, um, we can give a little shout out to our new subscribers. We do have new subscribers, even though we haven't uh, made a video in a few weeks. Um, we have been a little MIA, but that's because we have been wedding planning. So that's what we're going to talk about because we said we'll talk about it and it's about our time. We're like wedding planning on a tight budget, <laughs> very tight budget. Um, and yeah, so, and then we also have to keep in mind that we're a safe tech couple. So, um, yeah, so I guess I'll start and then. Chime in. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? All right. So first, we decided um, on the length of our engagement. Um, kind of, it was kind of decided because of when I proposed. I proposed at the very end of last year. End of 2017. End of 2016 was when I proposed. End of 2016. What year are we? We're in 2017. Okay. I thought it was in 2018. Then. We would already have had our ceremony. This is in the future. Okay. So anyway, um, <laughs> we, um, so yeah, I proposed in December of 2016, 12, 15, 16. So even in the past when we just talked about like, Hey, what would you want in a wedding? Um, we both wanted, you know, like to be out of water, um, and you know, the beach. So, um, so we, that already kind of put us in a certain season um because we were looking at like um on season versus off season type thing so when we proposed in december and us previously already talking about like the time of year um that we would want which we had basically already said spring um that we would want to have a ceremony we already knew we were looking at over a year because we weren't about to be engaged and then have a ceremony like four months later so we're already looking at over a year engagement um also, because we're on a tight budget, you know, we're looking at warm weather, the best time of year is going to be, for our budget, going to be around April or May. Because uh, we were originally looking to get married in L.A., so, um, yeah, if we were to get married after Memorial Day, it would have been a lot more expensive. Right, like the prices for venues, the, the peak for um, out here is like after memorial from memorial day to labor day i believe so venue prices like venue costs and all that everything vendor um costs and everything go up <laughs> like means, significantly after memorial day which is okay right but i mean it helped us to um to narrow down kind of like what we wanted to do because we already knew that um we were trying to be in like more so the off season we still wanted it to be warm and all those kind of things but we wanted it to be in the off season. So we got the length of engagement. We knew it was gonna be over a year. Uh, we knew the type of venue we wanted, a beach um, wedding, beach ceremony. Um, and then we started working on our guest list. So we started working on our guest list um, in like December, like shortly after we got engaged. As soon as we got engaged, we started working on the wedding planning. Um, so we started making like, we made like a rough draft of our guest list. Um, our first draft, I should say, of our guest list. So we had less than 100 guests. Um, we had less than 90 guests initially, like 80 something, I wanna say 87. So we're like, okay, we got this you know, number of guests. Um, and then we also had to take into consideration the fact that I relocated here um, you know, with Courtney. So like Courtney's family is here and mine is not. So we had to take into consideration people traveling and all those kind of things. So we, I mean, that 
you know, kind of help us to narrow down the guest list as well, because we were like, well, some people will probably be more willing to travel than others. Um, so yeah, we got our first draft for our guest list. Well, you know, we had that initial draft, including plus ones, then we had to go through like, do we want children? Oh, right, my bad. The, the initial, um, the first draft with the 80 something guests was also including, we were being fairly generous with the plus ones. So yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Um, well, and if it's local, for, for a lot of my family, I assume you know, they, they would bring, bring someone. Bring a date. Right. Um, um, we're looking at beach locations mm -hmm. for our ceremony. Yeah, so um, there were probably I don't know, three or four beaches we had to narrow down to. Mm -hmm. Like Santa Monica, Long Beach, uh, Dockweiler. Probably just those three. And so we have to look up, you know, Isn't different. Did you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> we had to look up different laws um, or policies. Um, they vary per beach because some beaches are state um, operated, some are city operated or county like operated. Like the regulations and stuff yeah, so, for um, you being able to assemble on the beach. Um, Long Beach was one of the cheapest, but they do, I think Long Beach had permits. Yeah. But it was just very cheap. Um, oh, yeah. Waller there's things also like had, had permits. Doc Waller had permits. Um, and that was actually a really good option because they had it. They have a community center, a youth center, which right there on the beach. Yeah, so you could have the ceremony and then your reception, like. And the space is like included in the yeah. cost, like so your only a thousand dollars, but right, they charge fifteen percent of all receipts. So your vendors catering, from vendors, yeah, your caterer, your photographer, and you know alcohol supply. They have to get any insurance. vendors, yeah. So it just that which costs. is like when you think about that, that's crazy. Like any vendor that you use. They want um, Los Angeles County beaches and harbors want fifteen percent. They want to, they want you to pay them fifteen percent of that what that person made. So if you, you know, if you pay somebody a hundred dollars for something, you pay a vendor a hundred dollars, then you also got to give fifteen to the county, which, in the, like it may sound small, but then when you multiply that times a bunch of vendors because weddings require a lot of stuff. Um, if you're doing it for every, and then a vendor typically is going to be more than a hundred dollars then you're looking at a lot of money on top of, you know, what you're already spending to give to the county. Um, so it was like, it seemed cool, you know, initially because it was like a thousand dollars that included a certain number of seats. We would have had to have more seats. I think it included um, 50. They included 50 seats. We needed um, closer to 90 and we would have needed like 40 more um, or at least 30 more. And um, so we would have had to use a vendor for that. <laughs> so they would have wanted us to pay them. Um, any vendors, you know, um, they need to be like licensed. You need to use a licensed caterer, alcohol license, insurance, like a million dollar policy. It was it was a lot. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. kind of that was like our top choice. Initially. Yeah, but I mean, if your budget's bigger than ours, I think that'd be a huge split. You know, right? It would have been very convenient. There's parking, so we were considering that too. Like because in LA, you got to pay to park everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we were looking for our guests. We're like, we don't want for folks to have to. Um, pay for parking, you know what I'm saying? Um, some places you can pay, prepay for your guests, but we're looking at all this like, okay, well, from the ceremony to the reception, we want people to be able to get there with as little fuss as possible. If you know what I'm saying, we can make that happen. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, I feel like it still would have been doable, but I feel like the, it definitely would have added up very, very quickly. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so after going through that, we decided on Santa Monica beach because it was free to walk on for uh, less than 100 guests and for you know you could set up without it's any it's so simple because a walk on is no yeah, I mean, no setup there's no cost essentially for under you don't have to have guests. a permit you can assemble up to 150 people um, and you can have tables chairs um, certain types of tents and things like that um, without having a permit to assemble it, it is on a first come first serve basis mm -hmm. um, so we started looking at reception venues Near Santa Monica and trying to figure that out. Um, right. And yeah, that's, that's... That's what the cost dun, is. Dun, dun. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. trying, to, trying to have a reception venue in Santa Monica or anywhere in LA is going to be expensive for the most part. So right. That's, that's when that's we encounter like a big, big... Like really, honestly, for the most part, as we looked at ceremony things, because we wanted to be on the beach, that actually wasn't hard, per se. Like we were able to find yeah, information very quickly. It was cheap, like... You know, we were able to do that 
for the low. Like, I mean, I really think our highest cost probably would have been a thousand bucks. You know what I'm saying? If we went through Doc Wilder or whatever in terms of the ceremony. But when it came to the damn reception, that is when the struggle came in because we were trying to look at venues. Um, we're thinking about our food and alcohol. Like, you know, trying to, we start trying to look at places where we could supply our own alcohol. That's a whole other situation. Um, what else? And we, um, and we were still concerned about parking. Um, and then we were also thinking about out of town guests because um, my folks come from out of town, they're gonna need somewhere to stay. So we're looking at like, I started looking at hotels and I was kind of stuff like trying to figure out how to make this all work without folks going all over Los Angeles County. Cause it's just, that's gonna be too much. Mm -hmm. so, um, possible venues we're looking at included like my brother's house. Like we just getting real creative. like. You know, what the hell are we going to do? Yeah. And then we um, were looking at, um, we started looking at houses. Mm -hmm. We were like, okay, well, I was like, okay, I have folks coming from out of town. Um, we both have, um, like one of her bridal party folks and then my, everybody basically for me, um, is in Atlanta or, you know, on the East coast. So we're like, okay, folks are going to be coming into town. Um, so they're going to need someone to stay. So what if we, um, rent a house? where they can stay and then we can also use like whatever the space, like um, either some kind of outside space or like kitchen, formal dining, whatever to do a reception. Um, if we like cut down our list some and also use the house and have just really kind of like a house party type of reception, but also be able to use that to like get ready for the ceremony and like for people to stay there and then have beach access. Once we start looking at houses, then we expanded it from LA to San Diego, maybe Santa Barbara, Puerto Rico. You know, we start looking anywhere we right. find a house for the low with a beach access. Yeah, we we're really so. looking kind of like within a, a couple hour radius of LA um, in terms of here. And then we um, we both been to Puerto Rico, not together, but um, we both gone and we both like it. So then I was like, okay, what about? Because we had mentioned it like a while ago. You know, we talk about you know going back to Puerto Rico at some point. So like, okay, what about Puerto Rico? Because we know, um, you know, cost of living there isn't high. So like stuff is just, you know, lower price. Um, and then flights there are not expensive. So, um, especially for like folks on the East Coast. So we started looking at Puerto Rico. As we started looking at houses, we also realized the work that that was gonna entail. You know, we're gonna have to do everything or, you know, hire people to do everything. So either we're doing it ourselves to save money, ourselves to save money, or we're hiring people to do it. Um, and we're just building up the Right, and it's just like, you know, blowing our budget. So then we start looking at like, um, just kind of family gatherings in general. Like, Courtney's family does a lot of like family gatherings and parties and stuff. And we notice, I mean, like her family like may as well be like an event planning um, <laughs> like team or like a company or something. Because really like they come together and they get shit done. Um, and her mom, mom is like our wedding, wedding is our wedding planner, our coordinator well, she's person. She's an actual wedding planner. They, they, they you know, pull stuff together. And, but we noticed like, you know, when at the end of the day, it's a lot of work um, and they are working. So it's like, it, you don't get to just fully enjoy because you're working. And then after the fact, when it's time to, to break down and clean up, they're the ones who are doing it. And it always turns out really nice, but they're working, you know? And one of the things I said very early on, I was like, I do not want our folks working. Like, I want them to enjoy. I do not want them working. Like, I know how her mom is, and I know how my mom is. We noticed this pattern. Um, so then her brother's wedding. So we, um, her brother got married in April. So, which is funny, cause like we're getting married like a year, you know, after her brother's um, ceremony. Her mom, you know, coordinated and all that kind of stuff. and. It was really fly. I mean, they had a really nice wedding. However, <laughs> you can you can go into that. So everything's beautiful. Start dwindling down. You know, everybody be like, all right, deuces, I gotta go. Our family's usually the only people who stay around and help and clean up. Even when uh, people are and, hired, yeah, we hire people to clean. And so so it's just us. We sit there sleep, and and you know, my mother's the mother of the groom. And she, you know, changed it out of her gown and is sleeping and shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's so right. ridiculous. This lady apparently was telling my mother, oh, you, basically, like, you missed the spot. Like, pointing out pieces of things on the ground. She's sleeping. Like, if I would have known that, it might have been yeah. a wrong. And so, well, honestly, that's something that neither one of us needed to know. I'm like, who are you talking to? Like, you get down there and pick it up. Like, you got... Okay, I'm sorry.
So, yeah, so, um, yeah, it got rough a little bit. People was upset. Um, like, yeah. shit, I'm tired, you know what I mean? Yeah, when it was a long day, yeah. even though the ceremony's two minutes. Yeah, so even in the midst of it, like, her sister asked me, or she has more than one sister, her older sister, who came in from Baltimore, was like, don't you guys want to have a destination wedding? Now, her mom had already asked us before then, don't y'all want to have a destination wedding? It's not like we hadn't talked about it, we had talked about it. Well, initially we ruled it out because, like, you know, it's a lot, people have to pay, they have to get passports, right. like, you know. Um, but then after this, we were kind of like, okay, yeah, what? after her brother's wedding and we were cleaning up and, you know, it was kind of like that repeated Ready to fight. Yeah. It was just like the, that, you know, not wanting that situation to be repeated again. So that like, so we had already talked about it, but that really solidified. We we're like, oh yeah, we're definitely doing destination wedding because we're not having this shit. Okay. So we decided to do a destination wedding. Oh, so okay. my mother, since she was the event coordinator for, uh, I mean the wedding planner for my brother's wedding. You know, she needed a little time. Right. So yeah, she had one up time. Yeah. What did she say? Give me a week or give me two yeah, weeks? Yeah, she was like, give me like a she was like, give me a week and then basically I'll be ready to start. Yeah. Y'all. So we like, had decided okay. we're gonna do a destination wedding before then. And so when that week was up, we talked, we was like, let's do it, let's do a destination wedding and she was like, I already I already got people, I already got a travel agent and so we it was pretty much immediately we were we were starting on that road. Right. She whispers in my ear she been waiting for something different. I hear her loud and clear just trying to give her what she's missing. Hit it hard like a drum, give her love till it's gone. I know that she deserves it.